So guys, here's how to make a stand-up style go-ped um, style scooter with a high performance engine that you can get from anywhere. You can pick an en engine you want to use. I used a Harbor Freight motor, did a couple of mods to it to kind of help uh, breathe, you know, help it free breathe a little more to get some more power out of it, more revving out of it. Um, so basically the components of it are a 20 inch bike, a 12 inch uh, rear wheel from a bike, kid's bike. I took the headset from a, the 12 inch, the uh, 20 inch bike, chopped it off, tacked it up to the uh, two inch square tubing, thin walled, pretty lightweight stuff. Once I got it all tacked together, made sure everything was straight, lined up, and had my, you know, rake and trail for my headset the way I wanted it to be, I uh, welded it all up. And then when I did that, I then created the rear end, which is two kind of forked tubes that allow you to have the engine sitting on one in this little cradle right there that allows you to slide the engine back and forth to adjust the chain tension. Um, I used a go-kart um, clutch. I used a mini bike uh, sprocket. I can't remember how many teeth it is, but that allows you to get the gearing right so that it goes, you know, accelerates pretty hard and um, has a pretty good top speed. One thing that happened is that the brakes were not good enough to use the V brakes from the bicycle to stop it because of, you know, the brakes or a bike are not designed to stop something that's much weight and plus my weight. This is a scooter for my son, but, you know, I ride it also just to see how it's going to go. And the brakes were enough, so I put in, put on some disc brakes that in the front so that it can stop pretty hard. And then I put a free breathing filter on it, kind of a can in style filter with a straight flow, straight through exhaust and a straight in uh, intake. Reach out the carbs and it pulls hard. Decided to make the top speed is probably around 60 or 70 miles an hour, um, which is too fast on bicycle tires. And, but the potential's there, you can have fun with it. And you can probably make a project like this yourself for a couple hundred bucks. Um, you can catch the Harbor Freight engines, the uh, Honda clones on sale for $99. The tubing probably costs 50 bucks. You can get an old junk bike for free. And uh, just need a welding some skill to go at it. It's a lot of fun, so enjoy. <laughs>